Oh, hey, check this out. Yesterday, on yesterday's episode, we went to the Goodwill bins and we bought a 500 pound bundle of plushie. What could be inside? I don't know, stick around to find out. <laughs> I got with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, <laughs> that was the dumbest thing we've ever done. Oh my goodness, just look at it. Now the real question is, can we close the door? Do you think we can close the door? Oh! <laughs> I mean, if I close it all the way, I might have a hard time getting it open. Yeah, I'm gonna have a hard time getting that over tomorrow, but it's fine. I can almost slip it over. All right, here's the thing about this giant bundle of plush from the Goodwill Benz. It honestly could turn out to be complete crap. It, I mean, if you go off of what's just kind of sitting on top, it's kind of stuff we don't really want, though that does kind of look like our cat, Momo. But there was a good reason to buy this and to take the gamble on it, okay? That being the Goodwill Benz, they do try to resell some of their own stuff on eBay and their own eBay-like site. And this kind of bundle is supposed to be from that. So what happens is you donate your stuff to a Goodwill. It doesn't sell at the Goodwill or they have overstock. They send that stuff to the Goodwill bins. The Goodwill bins will then do one of a few things. They will scrunch a bunch of like things up into huge lots and sell it. Our bins does this. I don't know if yours does. It's different from bins to bins. However, our bins does this quite a bit. And even sometimes what will happen, and what I came to understand, though there's no way to 100% verify this, but what I come to understand is that this particular bundle came off of the conveyor belt of plush. So they have a giant conveyor belt in our Goodwill bins for plush where they basically throw them all into a giant hopper to recycle them. And on the way up said conveyor belt, people, reach over and grab the good stuff off and toss it into a pile for stuff to potentially sell individually in the future or in bulk in the future. They try to set aside some of the good stuff. And I basically understand this was some of that good stuff in some portion. So that being said, there's a small chance that there's some gold in here. I don't know if there is. And I'm not gonna be terribly disappointed if there is because to be completely honest with you, this is the exact kind of picking that like really scratches my fancy. So I'm just super, super excited to get into this thing. That's the most of it. If there's nothing, I'm not gonna cry about it. Really what I hope is that there's 20, 30 things that are super awesome to put in our antique mall. One or two things that are super, super, super awesome to put on eBay, that'd be nice. If not, some other mom and pop store here in town is gonna get a giant donation of plush, unlike anything they've ever seen. Favorite one so far though. But let's go ahead and jump into this. There's uh, there's this metal cable, and I don't, I don't know if it's metal or not. <laughs> Well, my scissors aren't cutting it, so I need to get my bolt cutters, which I'm not really sure where they are. Not the bolt cutters I was looking for, but these will work. So, just metal cable here, metal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm pretty sure once I get these wires off, this thing is just gonna expand. All right, there's one. Oh, and it did. Okay, so it looks to me like, here's what's going on. To keep these uh, plush from getting overly dirty, the employees at the Goodwill have wrapped them inside of blankets. Now, a few of the ones that are exposed on the top where it was drugged by the forklift and stuff, clearly they're dirty. 
So if all these plush start to look like that, we're in a little bit of trouble. But we'll see. We'll, we're going to get into it and see. I guess what we need to do is just start grabbing blankets yeah. and opening them up. I'm not really sure how else to go about it. All right. So just for example, what this is going to look like. <laughs> just a tractor truck. Oh, this is so dumb. I can't believe I got myself into this. All right. Black teddy bear. Is that 101 Dalmatian? It's oh. Disney. That's very nice. It's Mama Dalmatian. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do with the good stuff. Ooh, Pokemon. This, this is what I'm hoping for. So I can already see exactly this. Is that, a, yeah, if this were setting in a regular Goodwill for a couple bucks, it would have sold. And there's no tags on it, you see. So that's what's curious about all this stuff. Are we going to get a bunch of uh, sheets? I don't know what to call this. Wraps, plushy wraps in there that have price tags. If you see me open a bundle that has a price tag on it, that means that it came from the store to the bins, which means it didn't sell in the regular Goodwills and it was sent to the bins as leftovers. However, this whole bundle right here never went to regular Goodwill, never went out on the sales floor at the Goodwill bins. This went straight to the bins as overflow donations and the employees just picked it over and said, we're gonna try to resell this. So we've got some, so we've got some tough choices to make uh, with a lot of stuff. Uh, we're basically gonna make a few piles we're gonna make a pile of stuff that's like, obviously this is too dirty to worry about, or this is not something we want. We're gonna make a bag full of heck yeah. And then we're gonna make a bag full of, well, we should probably look this up before we go too far. Cause every, every time we do something like this in huge bulk, inevitably what happens is there's one or two things in the whole pile that we couldn't have imagined was worth something. And it turns out that it was. So we're gonna, we're gonna be very deliberate this time around. But I'll be completely honest with you, 100% honesty, I am super overwhelmed right now. Like, what do I do? What is some of this? Is that a... <gasps> doodle bear! Doodle bear, let's go. Doodle bear, keep. What is this? Some of it's just ugly, okay? <laughs> some of it, I just don't even know what it is. Uh, go ahead and comment below, though, before we really dive into this. Make your guess, how many Pokemon will we find? Hannah, you want to throw out a guess? I'm going to go with a solid dozen. 12. Oh, really? I was going to go with six. So, okay. So, there's that. That's really, I don't know, watch, her, watch us just get our minds blown and it just be tons and tons. All right, well, I guess let's get into it, Hannah. Let's grab it back. Ooh, guess, Check. comment below. How many Pokemon, how many sharks? I'm going to go with five sharks. I'm going to go with six. <laughs> <laughs> Clifford in the first bundle, good find. We've got to figure out what we're gonna do with all this. Cause we're obviously not gonna keep probably the vast majority of them. Some of it's just stuff we're not gonna mess with selling in our antique malls or anything. So like, what do we do with the rest of it? I guess we're just gonna pile it up. And honestly, this is one of those surface burritos. That's what we're calling them, plush burritos. That's kind of morbid actually. <laughs> This is one of the service ones, so it was a little ripped, so it did get a little dirty. So we'll probably just line the floor here with the dirty ones. And uh, the rest of the ones that get piled on top won't be so bad. Are you ready to get to it? I am. Let's do this. All right. Here's something interesting. A peep plush. I can't bring myself to get rid of that one. We have found a couple Beanie Babies so far. And Beanie Baby stuff, if it's in all right shape, especially if it has its tags, we're going to go ahead and keep. They don't sell for much. However, they do sell like hotcakes at our antique malls. My antique mall booth is definitely the booth that the parents bring their kids to to buy them something small and nice so that they'll kind of just shut up. Um, but oftentimes, if it's not something bought for my booth, it's a Beanie Baby bought for two bucks and then the kids shut up. But uh, we'll probably do a, if there, I, I feel like there's gotta be 600 Beanie Babies in here. We'll probably finally put a bin, just like a, a dig in bin of Beanie Babies in our antique mall. That's how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? Hannah's laying the sheet out so that we can keep a lot of these from getting dirty. What is this? Oh! oh I thought that's what it was. 
I saw her bow peeking out. I don't know why. I was just like, yeah, that's... So, yeah. <laughs> well, that's awesome. And also, the cool thing about that, too, is that it's that same Coles brand that all that other Clifford and... Uh, yeah, Coles Kidders. Yeah, it's probably... that. This one is probably that, too. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, it is. Coles. Coles, Coles, Coles. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Get we're, excited. We're getting into the good stuff. Elmo Puppet. The story. Is that... Well, it's, it looks like a fake Dory. Dory. <laughs> what is this? Interesting. Look at this. Oh, that looks old. 20th century. Right, we're going to set that aside. All right, I guess what we're going to do... So, like, obviously we're not keeping knocked off Dory. Right. Uh, we'll hold, Let's talk about Christmas Bear. Uh, what oh. is it? It's a hippo with a It's dog. a puppet! Oh! Okay, are you ready for this? Hello. Hi! I'm Therapy Hippo. You're Squish Therapy Hippo. Tell me your problems! Um, right now you're getting in my face. Ah! This is from NCIS. What? Look! I've never watched it, so... Based on... A character on there must have a... Therapy hippo puppet. Comment That's below. Funny. Comment below and let us know if you've seen it because I haven't. Well, I guess we need to hold on to the, the hippo and look that up. That's definitely going to go in the look up pile. Okay. These are quite popular. What do you think about them? Are they're they're beanie babies? So we'll just yeah. they'll go in the beanie baby pile. You know what? Let's just start a bag of beanie baby. The yellow bag is for beanie baby. I hope someone with a child doesn't drive by here and go, "Oh my God, mommy, why is there six million stuffed animals on the ground? Are they killing them?" I have to get therapy hippo back out if that happens. Seat pets. Buckle oh, up and yeah, yeah. snuggle up. Put it on the seat belt. You can put that on your seat belt. I could. Did you see what I found? No. Pony. Yeah. Did we do did we do ponies or we just did beanie babies and Well this is a build a bear one. We bought one of these oh, well, yesterday. Cool, yeah, well that's just gonna go to our antique mall. Uh oops, I keep throwing stuff on the ground. Alright, start to uh, throw in the BS like lamb chop. Not obviously not lamb chop here. Forward. I don't know if we can bring him back to life. I guess we'll hold on to him. Some of this stuff that's been squished is gonna need to be fluffed and left to expand for a little while. I'll grab that doll with the hair. She needs to pull her draws up. She does. She's a little exposed. This beanie baby. Okay. Rock and Rosie. It's just stuff we're gonna look up. Beanie baby. Yellow bag for beanie baby. Aww. Eeyores. Eeyore. What is that? Uh, well, it's one of those like electronic stuffed animals. I guess you can like record something. Right. Well, we're at our storage unit, so these things aren't going to get donated too soon. We're going to hopefully all today get through just these plushie and then uh, set aside what we know we're going to keep and actually price some of it really quickly. And a lot of it's going to get left here in my storage unit to just be gone back through later because we're trying to get this video done and we're trying to get it all out of these bags right now. So, of course, we're going to zoom past something that's valuable and have no idea, but it's going to take some time. Is that? Is that? Bear in the Big Blue House? It looks like him. Well, he looks real in need of a floof. <laughs> yes, he needs to be hugged a few times. Ah, uh, it doesn't. It kind of looks like him. It doesn't but... say Disney or anything. No, it's not him. He, huh. He's more humanoid, standy uppy, you know? Gotcha. I also found the. Oh, that's what's been making the noise? <laughs> Let's set it aside so it doesn't get buried under other stuff and continue to make noise. <laughs> oh, sweet. It's another one of those uh, Neopets keychains. Oh, cool. That would be the third or fourth one we brought home in the last week. What is this? Burrito number three? Yes. Definitely want to find some uh, Nickelodeon stuff. Ooh, that'd be exciting. Oh, Tweet. wow, he's heavy. Is he? <gasps> Gosh dang, he's got beans in his feet. He's got beans in his feet! I guess we should probably look that up. This this is what's overwhelming. Not that there's so many, it's just that there's just so much. Ooh, beautiful Care Bear. Uh, there's just so much that we're gonna 
Is that a baby baby? This is old. Yeah, well, see, that's exactly what I was about to get to. There's just so much here that's inevitably going to be older and worth looking up. It's just going to be difficult. It's an ugly snowman. My mom collects ugly snowmen. Oh, that's definitely for her. <laughs> mom, that's for you. We'll put <laughs> it in the bag. <laughs> Expect it in the mail. He's so pathetic. Sad. See, like, you just never know what random holiday stuff is from some line that it's like, oh, it's, that's $30 plush. It's Free a very sad Eeyore. Is it e actually supposed to be Eeyore, it though? It is. His tag even even says Disney Eeyore. Interesting. Interesting. All right, we'll hold on to that one. You want a Trout Unlimited hat? I'm good. All right. Next. Next. We haven't even started. Ooh, that's a big old, big old pillow. But I turned it upside down. What it is, Look at that little curious George. Aww. You know what we should do? I wish we had more room in our antique mall. We could just make a dollar bin of plush. We could. And just put a dollar on all this. Well, you know, you've got that bottom shelf at Merchant Square. You can make like a little hammock at the bottom and <sighs> just throw a bunch of plush in it. Yeah, just keep refilling it. Well, that's why a lot of this is going to spend some time in our storage unit here before it goes anywhere. Is oh, that it is from Shrek? Shrek. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I like that. Land of the Free Bear. He's holding airmail. Where's my Pokeman? Oh! Oh! Patrick. Oh, a little Chewbacca. Oh, nice. We haven't come across a single Beanie Baby with his tag on, though. Oh, stand corrected. Oh, as soon as I said that, <laughs> there's one with a really bad tag. Next up. Just waiting to open one and it'd just be like Pokemon heaven. I'd say most of my better Pokemon plush have come from the bins, so Net Life Snoopy. Another Dalmatians. Multiple Dalmatians. Is that a llama? It's a llama. <laughs> He's a yellow llama. That's almost tempting to keep. Hey. Oh. We should have done a bet on how many SpongeBob's right now. I think he's killing it. He is. Oh, the oh. Little baby. <laughs> McDonald's baby baby. Ooh! Oh, we might hit the mother load. Right off the bat. Oh yeah. What the heck? It's a budget. I've never seen one of these in my life. It's a fish. It's not even supposed to be like his hands. It's, it's just a fish. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do therapy fish? No. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. It's actually got his tags. It's really cool. Pooh Bear. Pooh Bear and Piglet. My little devil. <laughs> Some of these plush that I'm throwing out into our bags beside the van. Ooh, Beanie Baby Hello Kitty. Already look a lot better just from airing out. Not being squaws is a curious George. Yeah. Oh, it's a bracelet. It's a curious George slap bracelet. <laughs> Worn. Beanie baby. Oh wow. It's like a vintage T Y, like old school. Oh wow, and his head's coming off. No, his head rotates. Weird. Exorcist bear. <laughs> <laughs> but it is. It's a really old beanie baby. That definitely needs to be looked up. That's the oldest beanie baby I've ever seen. Yeah, I didn't know that they ever had those tags so many uh, my little pony here's an aristocat and a beanie baby all right oh he's the, the same mallard we like mallards around here no way that's a really old beanie baby too really we got to look closer because i i'm that's why we're gonna end up having to go through all this stuff multiple times because i my eyes are not trained to spot vintage super vintage uh beanie babies just the regular ones like here's another one and its head spins. It's so weird. weird. Um, this was my favorite Beanie Baby when I was a kid. Really? Why? The deer. Why specifically? Because she was cute. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to have to go back through just for these older Beanie Baby. I mean, I don't know the, if, if they're especially old like that, if they're worth anything. But I definitely want to find out before we donate them to a thrift store. All right, just so you know, we're like a third of the way through, I think. We got a chunk off that side. Whew. Next bundle. You like my bling? <laughs> it's a beautiful bracelet. Holy crap. That's a big old 
sloth. It's a sloth. <laughs> oh. I love him. That was an unexpected turn of events. Yeah, it was. <laughs> we were both about to say bear, and they were like, wait. Oh, it's a rainbow hedgehog. That's cool. You guys be sure to point out if you know what anything is, even if it's not valuable and you can tell us what something is that we don't know, we may not know. Comment it below, point out anything you see, and we'll, we'll come back over here tomorrow and dig some of the stuff out we might have missed. Holy crap. He looks well, this, old. So this, this is like dry rotted, the, oh. the foam inside of it, but this is a really old Scooby-Doo. That's crazy. That's trash though. So sad. But uh, yeah, I, I know for a fact there's gonna be some random cartoon character. I don't know who the heck it is. Red Hat Society, anybody wanna join? Mm -hmm. um, that some of y'all are gonna spot. I'd be more happy to come back over here and dig it out tomorrow. I think. This is just too overwhelming. Even I'm, I'm probably passing up stuff that I know what it is just cause I'm like, oh my God, we have 6,000 more. <laughs> I don't know what he is, but I love him. He's cute. This is not for though. children under three years old. All new materials, content, polyester fibers, made in Jiangsu, China. Juan, Juan, Su. Okay, we're just, <laughs> I tried. Um, why are Christmas decorations so creepy? Mom, do you want it? <laughs> you want Tiny Mickey? Uh, yeah, set them aside. I'm trying to like use my luck to pull out the good one. Actually, I'm kind of at a point where they're all, uh... Do you want the cat? No. <laughs> he... Oh, I missed, a, I missed a tie wire. They use some real serious tie wire to do this. Watch it explode. I know. Oh! Was it dramatic? I, I turned my eyes <laughs> It didn't look as dramatic as I made it sound. Honestly, this is my favorite thing I've found yet. You think I should accessorize? You should, you should make that a, a top pocket find. Top pocket find? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We did it! Are you ready for this? Caught bet and you then won't, fell. Bet you won't jump from the van and do it. Oh my god, she's gonna do it. No, I'll die. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh my god. I'll Steve O this B. <laughs> it made noises. It's a fitted sheet. Oh no. I messed it up. Bad luck. It's a bad sign. I saved it. All right. All right, fitted sheet galore. Little troll. I kind of want to do that dive again before there's not enough left to dive on. You should do it. I'm good. For some reason, it, like it didn't hurt, but it winded me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here going. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so paranoid now. I'm like looking at every tag. Oh, like, I know. What are you? We're gonna just have to uh, spend a few days on this. We likely won't spend a few days worth of videos on it. This will likely be the only video. But we'll probably update you. Oh, do you know what this is? Yeah! Get the camera. <laughs> we'll likely update you. Come on out here. We'll likely update you sometime in the next week of the stuff we went back and pulled out. Y'all don't even know about this. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. Do you remember the time that I was at a Goodwill and I did this? So creepy. Why is he? <laughs> Her head's so like. She looks like, it looks like she's a dead body. Let's see how. <laughs> Keep. Oh. Here, I'll dive into this. Go ahead. Careful. Oh, <laughs> I was a little scared of what was underneath. Yeah, I know. It's the stuff on the other side you gotta worry yeah. about. Oh my goodness. Waffle bear. Is that what that is? I don't know what God, is. I'm tired now after the dancing. <laughs> you did nothing. Well, that's freaky. It's just. I just want to get all through all of this now. Cole's cares, but who is it? It's from something specific. Oh, this is um unicorn from Hercules. Baby unicorn. What's it from? It's this is babies. Uh, yeah, it's from Hercules. Pegasus. What I call it, unicorn? Yeah. Not the same. Class of eleven. Anybody? Anybody here? Class of eleven. Me. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. 
for high school. That makes sense. I was 07. Do you want giant aerial? Oh, Scrooby. Scrooby Doo. Uh, yes, yeah, center side. That's antique mall material. Scrooby Doo. Come on, Pokemon. There's so many kittens. We should have done a bet on kittens. You know what I'm really surprised we haven't found? What? You know those, um. Pooh Bear. Set him up here. Scout dolls. Those little, uh, teddy bears. They are. Oh. I'm sorry. I just threw that right <laughs> in her face. I'm listening. They like they, you put your your voice in it. It's for your kid, okay. so it'll like talk to you and it'll, it'll sing a song. And like my nephew's name is Jack, and it'll be like, Jack, what's your favorite color? And like I see them all the time at Goodwills. I'm really shocked we haven't found one yet. Peppa, ew, ew, ew! I don't like it, ew. Not every day you find a stingray plush. Well, the good thing about what we're doing right now is like all the poo, SpongeBob, all that stuff, we can definitely, definitely just um, drop in our antique mall right now and then we'll have another week or two to sort through some of the rest of this. It's gonna be real funny we get pulled over with six tons of plush in the back of our van. Pick a good one. Mine was a bust. It wasn't that bad. Oh my gosh. That worked. It worked, but it's upside down. Oops. It was actually way heavier than it looked. I'm real tired now. <laughs> Why does this baby shirt just say poo? <laughs> they took, it looks like they took the shirt off the poo plush. All right. Oh. Ooh, is that, uh, it's it Annie, right? Old, yeah. I think so. Yeah, Raggedy it's Annie. Annie. Or, yeah. Orphan Annie. Oh, this is three of four. Oh. We have three of them now. Oh. Yes, that's, oh, that's, awesome. that's my favorite find so far. By far. That's number one. That's my numero uno. Care Bear, but it's, ch it's cheap. I'm not into that. Ooh, you remember these? Splash, uh, they oh. soak up water? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna put that to use. All right, accessory number three. <laughs> I'm into it. You know what makes me really sad? puppets that I can't fit my hand into. Aww. Which is all of them. All right, pick one. Orange. Orange. Oh, this one's orange. God, it, they're so torn. Ooh, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Hey. Mom, <laughs> yay or nay? You got he's, he's smiling, so no. <laughs> and his mother collects snowmen, but they can't be smiling. Dark, I know. <laughs> she likes them to remain tortured in her house, but I really think that other one's a contender, Mom. <laughs> you need to let us add one to the collection. We'll stop after that. I don't know what to do with this. Just rip it. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Ah! That's huge! Put that over there. So many bears in here. There's a bunch of big ones in here. 1989, look at that Christmas sweater. Oh baby, that's like to commemorate my first Christmas. <laughs> that's interesting. It's just cute. That's an interesting piece if I ever saw one. That's definitely a look into piece. And I think we just found the cover photo. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tank plush. That's awesome. Just a tank. The number of times I've just rolled a plush right over the top of your head, it's kind of impressive at this point. <laughs> Aww, again. Uh, They're too happy, but it's cute. We're striking out, Mom. I got a, I got a marker. We can make them look sad. <laughs> Imagine, ooh, another peep. The second peep. We should have taken bets on peeps. Imagine if the whole Toy Story idea of toys and stuff like that is real, or when we look away, they're alive. Uh, and the torture that your mom's snowman collection must endure whenever she's not in the house. They just, they're all there being sad together. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like sadness from inside out just multiplied. <laughs> they're all just talking to each other about sad things. <laughs> Gotta get a gun. I don't know what that is. Gunned with a D. I don't either. All right, my turn to pick one. Okay. It's heavy. It's probably the heaviest one yet. I can't throw it. <sighs> 
Did you pick it because there's a giant duck on top? No, I didn't see that, but that is awful. <laughs> that is uh, what I always refer to as a fair prize. Yep. This is toss the rings in the barrel. I don't know what those games are, but that's how you get that. It's a little snoop. Ooh! <gasps> Doobliss! Yes! I haven't even got it open and I'm finding the good stuff. The hope is, you know, whenever the employees were probably in the bins doing this work and pulling them, the hope is that maybe we're going to grab one of these that was done by one employee that had a little bit more knowledge and it's just going to be one big bag full of great stuff. All right, this one looks okay. It's got a lot of Disney and Ooh. other animation stuff. But the number of just generic and otherwise ridiculous bears in here is ridiculous. Just say ridiculous a few more times. Uh, that's kind of cool. Just a three leaf clover. Weird. Oh, it's a Wells Fargo pony. Lol. That's pretty cool. I see that stuff when stores are. Oh. There's one. It's a scout. What? This is what I was talking about. Oh, Hi. so you, yeah. It's violet, but it's a scout That's type cool. doll. <laughs> set that aside. Look at it later. Uh, orange bear. There's just so much. <laughs> mouse, dancing mouse. Uh, this Elmo is almost big enough to make a puppet. You can. I've taken big Elmo plush before and made my own puppet. Uh, ooh, interesting. Number two, I'm gonna have nightmares when I'm editing this. Editing is usually where I see more because I'm usually calmed down by then. I'm probably gonna go back and edit this and then immediately have to run back out to the car to dig out some specific Pokemon that I see in the footage. I see things a lot clearer when I'm editing. It's just how it works. Now that's interesting though. He's been colored on. Aww. Pfft, the second sloth should have taken bets on sloths. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, is it one of those ugly models? I've always wanted one of these. Fuggler, they're called Fugglers. <laughs> Look at that. That's Fugly right there. He's so scary. He's mine. He belongs to me. <laughs> the only thing that make him better is if you're yellow. Are you ready for this? Oh, what? Build a bear, Buzz Lightyear. Yes. It's yes. a Superman bear. It's a bear. Superman bear with, but that's the customization that comes with Build a Bear. That's cool. Well. That's definitely, that's definitely gonna get sold. Uh, a gummy bear. That's oh. funny. It's actually shaped like gummy bears properly. Mom, they're all smiling. It's a double one. We've we, seen this one. We should have taken bets on snowmen. We should have. <laughs> <laughs> We'd just be tallying everything at this point. Second one of her, and I see some Beanie Baby in here. Well, it was a Beanie Baby tag. Uh, that's a Clifford character, right? Yeah, I don't remember her name. Yeah, I don't either. Like I, what I said the other day on a video, it's like, been since like 1994 that I read a Clifford book. <laughs> I haven't had kids yet, so there's been no reason to get them back out. A strange night. Is that Pooh Bear? Gosh, should have taken bets on Pooh Bears. There's so much poo in here. <laughs> of the Winnie variety, <laughs> not the... Is that the Kane's dog? Ah! <laughs> Best chicken strips ever, Kane's dog. Keep that for myself. Another Scooby. Um, that's awesome. Aww. So check this out. This is an interesting one. Uh, Bud Light Spuds McKenzie. Oh. So that's definitely one we need to look up. So much poo. <laughs> Are you gonna giggle? <laughs> Are you gonna giggle every time I say poo? I think so. <laughs> Hamster on a piano. It's, it's just such a good video. <laughs> so dumb. Snoopy. He's a bit dirty though. Oh, Beanie Baby. Class of 98, anybody? Comment below, class of 98. Not I. Is this, this has gotta be something. What is this? I don't know, comment below, what is it? I, yeah, I recognize it too, but I don't know. And like I said, we're gonna be coming out here a bunch to dig crap out. I'm probably gonna wake up in cold sweats in the middle of the night too, just re remembering what something was. You have dreams about flush. Oh yeah. Oh! What is it? It's <laughs> scary. It's awful is what it is. <laughs> All right, next one. It's your turn to pick. Let's go with uh, the gray pillow. Right next to you. That one? Gray. One? Yeah. Wind up. I'm really glad that hit the wall because otherwise <laughs> it would hit me. <laughs> Watching that knock you back into the giant pile of plush behind you. 
Would have been a big lull. <laughs> I have something tells me you would have been safe. Would have been okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's open this one up. <laughs> There's just so much ridiculousness in here. Right. Whoa. It's just so many generic bears. Oh yeah. Oh, be the baby. We had that one when I was a kid. What is it? This is one of those giant beanie baby. The, uh -oh. the glitter eyes. Monster.com mascot. Kind of cool. What is it? It's like a wine bottle plush. Like Two. a winery. Okay. Float number 19. Oh, it's a parade thing, I guess. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Bruh! Bruh! Two sharks. Two sharks. If anybody bet two, you're on your way to being right. What was the other? Oh, here he is for the Toy Story shelf. That's Aww. a great find. Is this from Peter Rabbit or something? I don't know specifically. Even tough to tell, but it is well made. Corduroy. What did you find? <laughs> you know, you were gonna make an ugly snowman uglier by with a pen. Someone did that to this angel. <laughs> So somebody only believes in angry angels. <laughs> so scary. That's awful. How about that? And what the heck is this? <laughs> I guess it's supposed to be a bird. It's so, what does she say? It's so beautiful, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Something it's like so that. Fluffy. It's so fluffy, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be a little bit upset when there's not at least one Furbus in here. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Oh, that's all I've thought about. Some crayons. That's so goofy. <laughs> What's next? I'm feeling some Pokemon energy from this one. Ugh. Oh! How'd you know? I felt the energy, baby. <laughs> I felt the energy. He needs, he needs to be brought back to life, though. He doesn't have any foam in his neck. His neck's a limp noodle. Puts the foam in your neck, Charizard. Oh yeah, I'll be refurbishing him. He's mine, he belongs to me. I How felt old the, is he? I felt the energy, baby. <laughs> I felt so the energy. Crazy. How old is it? I don't know, the tag is completely, what? it looked washed. I don't know, it doesn't have a manufacture date, it just has three copyright dates. Hmm. It's old though, that's mine, it belongs to me. Did we take, we didn't take bets on Pokemon, did we? We did. We three. did. So three Pokemon, two sharks. I said 12, you said six. I'm definitely gonna win. <laughs> yeah. And, well, actually, I hope we don't. I would much rather have 12. Me too. Uh, Dr. Seuss. Horton. Is this Dr. Seuss as well? Yep. Oh, it's Lorax. Lorax. No way. Oh, here's a Peter Rabbit. An actual one? It says Peter Rabbit on it. Oh my gosh, here's a vintage Donald. Ooh. Minecraft, Yay. Minecraft baby cow. That's for my collection. Is that a smack in the head? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, the elf. Boss elf, let's go. Now here's an interesting one that's smushed to death. Ooh, he smashed. I'm just holding back an avalanche of plush right now. Oh, I think this is Captain Underpants. Oh. That's pretty awesome. That would go in the keep pile. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> it's the Punisher? <laughs> yeah. That's weird. That's, that's really weird. Very strange. It's just a Marvel branded plush. That'll go in the keep bag. I, I used my Pokemon energy. It's got it like a three week cooldown, so I'm not going to be able to use it again anytime soon. This was surprising. <laughs> That's awful. So what is that, a pear? I've seen that character before. Is it like from a commercial or something? Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Oh! That's why I've seen it before. Yep. It's what There's a say. leak in the boat! <laughs> not so dirty, Snoop. Snoop dog, but not that Snoop dog. Okay, you get to use your special energies. Ooh. I'm don't, not... don't do it unless you know. I'm feeling that one. The big one? Yeah. But I don't know. I knew, baby. I got the I got that big Pokemon energy, you know what I'm saying? You killed it. I've I think you found the best I've one. Been, I've been finding Pokemon cards on the road. <laughs> it's very true, you have. The Pokemon come to me. <laughs> They're your leader. <laughs> You're their leader? <laughs> I'd be weird if I was the Pokemon. What, what would you do if somebody threw their Pokeball out in my big ass? <laughs> don't tell. 
you should probably put your own Pokemon back in the ball and run away. I would, uh, I'd be impressed that you fit in the Pokeball. <laughs> That's the magic. Uh, all right. Oh, Pound Puppy. Pound That's an puppy. old one. But he's also real, oh, real messed up. so sad. Hello Is kitty. that one too? Ooh, yeah. This one's just going to be full of Pound Puppies. That's awesome. I'll throw the Pound Puppies aside. Giant Dora. Oh, it's a Build-A-Bear. I was like, you look special. Sweet. That is not special. That's it's trash. It's garbage. He's got Hello Kitty underwear on. Well, that's not weird. Is it? What is it? I don't know. But it's like actual bear underwear. That's strange. Uh, I, we found a lot of Hello Kitty today. It's a, it's a Build-A-Bear. I've used up all my energy, so we're just going to go back to front. Before we start this one though, I want to show you something. That's the back of my bread truck. It's encroached to the front. <laughs> we definitely look like we're trying to kidnap somebody in this van. Hey kid, you want some stuffed animals? We have all of them. I have all of them that ever existed. <laughs> Snoop? With a jelly bean. Easter Snoop. <laughs> what the heck is this? That's kind of interesting. That's kind of nice. We should probably look that one up. So much snoop, man. Diamondbacks. Another Wells Fargo pon pony. It's all right, we're nearing the end. Come in the whole street. This might be the longest we've ever let her go pro run. All right, your turn to pick. Uh, pink. Pinkin'. Ooh, this looks good. Ooh, it does. Big brain. How about that? There Tired of untying knots. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. We just have to do a Seuss bundle. It's a little graduation, Mickey. He's old. Yeah, Set him aside. I don't know if he'll come back to life. He's a little decrepit. Hannah, you're just standing at a wall. You are the dam for the plushies. <laughs> I really am. Should have done a bet on peeps for sure. Is that chipmunk? It is. Hey. Dog toy. Do you think our cats will like it? Probably not. <laughs> oh, Minecraft pig. Oh yes, double Minecraft. Precious moments. Is that what that is? Yeah. Is that special? Um, I don't know. It's a little beanie baby. Oh, oh. <laughs> that might be the cover photo. I don't know. <laughs> you look like you're being swallowed alive. I am. I don't know if I can get up. Give me your hand. <laughs> All right, we got three left. Here's a little one. Probably just peek through it real quick. Well, that's oh, awesome. Flower. It's a good start. It went well. Oh, backpack. Ooh, another squish ball. Sweet. We're gonna go home and peg each other with those. <laughs> Which one? That one. This one. I see a mini mouse. Do you? Mini. There's lots of Mickey and Minnie. We'll probably filter that stuff into the antique walls. The funny thing that's going to happen is this giant wall is going to come forward once we drive away. Oh. And at some point we're going to open this jaw door and it's just going to spill out a whole sea of plush into some random grocery store's parking lot. And it's going to be awesome. Oh no. All right. The last one. This is the absolute last one. This is like quadruple knotted. The actual scout. Ooh, another buzz. <laughs> Sweet. Care Bear. Oh, is that Raggedy Ann? She's like Halloween. Yeah. Ooh, a little Kermit. If there's no more Pokemon and Shark in here, we're locked in. Little oddball. She's so cute. There's been a lot of pound puppies. Chuck E. Cheese. Ha, <laughs> that's awesome. That's actually pretty good. I don't, I don't know anybody personally who collects Chuck E. Cheese stuff, but you know. Wow, that's an old Mickey. Yes, to the side. So many Beanie Babies. There's a bag of stuff. No sharks, no Pokemon, huh? Nope. All right, well, there's, there's an uncountable number of Beanie Babies. Ooh, look at this Care Bear, that's nice. All right, well, 
there you go that's what 500 pounds of plush from the goodwill bins looks like now we're going to kind of clean up here and uh, we'll talk about some of the stuff i set aside that we're going to immediately immediately put in our antique malls but as far as stuff that like might be buried in there that's of some crazy unexpected value you're definitely going to want to subscribe and turn those notifications on for that because this is just going to be something we're going to have to come back to over the next few days worth of videos which is important to know because we post daily videos on this channel but uh let's wrap this up So here's how we ended up. Three bags of stuff that we can immediately price and sell in our antique malls. That's what all that is, and that's all stuff we've already sold before. And it'll all kind of be divided up in a way that makes sense for our antique malls because we sell something like the Pound Puppies. Is that what they're called? Yeah. We sell those at, in like Cabbage Patch dolls and that specific era stuff at a specific antique mall. Uh, then stuff like SpongeBob, all the Toy Story stuff we found like that, the Pixar stuff. We have another antique mall where we sell so much of that, especially the Toy Story stuff. We sell so much there. So that's awesome. That'll more than make our money back. We spent $100 on this load, which is kind of crazy. If you think about just the volume of all that for $100, that's pretty nuts though. And uh, we feel pretty good about the choice because uh, there are three specific ways we're gonna make our money back. Some of this uh, Build-A-Bear stuff on eBay uh, that you saw. I'm not really gonna work too hard to show everything back off individually. If I went back and showed you every single thing we set aside, uh, this video would just double in length. But uh, I definitely found something to keep because this Charizard is old. And uh, I'm, I'm even considering uh, picking him open and replacing the foam inside because it's just not in a good way. But he's definitely worth saving, I believe. Put some more rigid foam in there where he'll set up like that. So that's a keeper for me. The build the bear stuff, probably putting a lot on eBay. So there's several handfuls of lots of things that'll do good on eBay. Uh, so the three things were antique malls, uh, lots on eBay. And then the third thing is just gonna be uh, some sort of real cheap discount bin for us at our antique malls. Just like I'm gonna get one of those giant basket things like you used to dig through at Walmart and just put dollar plush on it and make all of this, some of this random plush that some kid would love to have super cheap so they can just walk out with it. And anytime we put any basket box of anything in our antique malls for a dollar or two, it always does really, really well. I mean, we've had stickers we've done that with, we've had Disney Skylanders, you know, just little bitty individual wrap toys, you name it, you put enough of it in an antique mall for a dollar or two, you can sell plenty. So there's definitely a lot of that in here that we're gonna dig out over the next week to do that with. And uh, we'll definitely make some more money. I'm, I'm so excited about it. I definitely am gonna make sure uh, I can, <laughs> be at the Goodwill bins here enough to get dibs on the next time one of these huge bundles shows up because I'll definitely buy one again because that was a lot of fun. Honestly, that giant Charizard was worth it for me. Hannah, what was your favorite thing that we found? That Wally. Was it? Yeah. That's your favorite? Well, do you, so what's the tally on our bets? Um, two, I, two sharks? Two sharks and was it three Pokemon or just two? No, it was three. It was three Pokemon. Yeah. So who won? You. Did I, win, did I win both times? Just because you went too high? A bit high. Hey, I would have loved for you to have won that one. If I'd have had 12 Pokemon out of that bundle, that would have been awesome. Uh, you guys, comment below. Let us know what your favorite thing that we found in here was. I'd love to know. Uh, also, like I said earlier in the video, be, be feel free to comment below and let us know something you might have spotted we didn't. Because I'm definitely going to be going home right now to edit this video and combing over it with a fine tooth comb and seeing if there's anything else that I need to come back out here and dig out. You can almost, you can almost bet I'm gonna be out here in my underwear later tonight <laughs> in, in the parking lot of our apartment complex just digging plush out. Imagine the cops rolling up with their bright light and looking in and my half naked self in the back of this spread truck just digging through plush. Can you explain why you're naked in this story? <laughs> it's right outside my front door. <laughs>
do, do you put lots of clothes on? Okay, I don't go outside naked. I don't know why I'm trying to further this story. I thought, I thought it was the a cleanliness visual, thing. I thought the visual would be funny. Oh, I don't want to wear my clean clothes. And uh, yeah. well, this is one of my favorite just... shirts. I'm in here getting dirty. <laughs> I don't baby my clothes, darling. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was a good time, though. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to have to put a playlist together. Uh, maybe you should go check for this for, before you click on to the next video. I'm going to put a playlist together of us buying these big bulk purchases. Because what is this, the third, fourth time? Third, fourth? Third, third fourth time, third, yeah. Third, fourth time. We can't remember <laughs> which. And we're definitely going to continue doing it, you know. Uh, we have opportunities to do more of it, but we really try to be... A little bit strategic i mean we have our antique malls this is the only reason we did this this is great stock for our antique malls we're gonna make so much money in our antique malls with this stuff so it was perfect for us um but the opportunities of what you can buy in bulk at our goodwill bins changes constantly and it's kind of at the whims of some managers and stuff so we're just it it might be next week it might be three months from now before we do another one but it, when we do do them i will put them on a playlist on this channel because they're fun to watch together because this is this is a this is a particular kind of junky person like ourselves itch right that you got to scratch like there's a big difference between going to goodwill digging through a few plush and then diving into something this massive right that's all yours like uh, nobody else is gonna dig through this you get to pick and choose what you want let me ex let me explain my life to you i'm 31 years old my name is dallas i own a bread truck and that bread truck is currently full of plush doesn't that sound like I live in some weird dreamland? I feel like it does, which makes me, to be honest with you, extremely grateful to be able to do what we do. Because next time uh, someone asks me, what do you do for a living? I'm going to be like this. <laughs> Actually, it'll be more like, oh, well, let me show you this picture of my bread truck with uh, a bunch of plush inside. But guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for uh, putting up with our shenanigans because... This is just ridiculous. <laughs> I feel so absurd, like in such a good way. I feel like Willy Wonka. That's, that's what I feel like, Tindo in his trash land. Um, but listen, help us get to 10,000 subs so we can do more stuff like this. The bigger we grow, the more money this channel makes, the more we're just gonna put that money into doing more ridiculous stuff like that. And I personally, I am, I'm, I am of the personal belief that it is worth your sub. So hit that subscribe button, help us get to 10,000. And then the most important thing you can know before we get out of here is that we do post daily videos on this channel. I can't say that enough. So make sure you come back tomorrow and check out what we're into then. Uh, tomorrow's probably going to be a normal thrifting day. Probably just get back to the regular life. But we're still going to have to deal with this in some regards. So, you know, come back tomorrow and see what else happens with this giant death pile of plush. And until then, guys, peace out. Go jump in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we should have done that in slow mo. Did you see my glasses go? <laughs> now I can't get out without them avalanching out. You live there now. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>